Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about Eddie Maguire tonight on the uh, report. Um, yes, they've come for Eddie, you know, and um, that's going to be uh, the issue that we're going to discuss tonight on the report from Tiger Mountain. Stick around. Eddie Maguire. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, they've came for Eddie Maguire. You know, I mean, uh, it's a terrible situation. I mean, they got rid of him as the um, the, the chief of uh, Hollywood. And I mean, that, that basically was that man's passion and uh, his whole life passion. And I think it's a complete nonsense that he's in any way a racist. Um, I mean, I don't know, who knows? Maybe the guy made an off-color joke one or two times at a party in the past or maybe at the club, who knows? But I'm not sure exactly what the accusations are against him, but it's, it's a complete nonsense. Eddie Maguire is not a racist. He's never has been. Um, you know, um, he's always been, you know, one of Australia's top celebrities. And, um, you know, he, I'm sure he's been, uh, watched his P's and Q's over the year, what he says in public and what he says in private. And uh, I think it's a complete nonsense, but I think one of the reasons that it's significant is that, you know, it really says to anybody that they can deplatform anybody now. I mean, after the win of Biden, in a sense, this kind of, you know, uh, cancel culture, um, whatever the agenda is of the globalists behind Biden, and you see it all over woke culture globally, um, you know, anyone, no one is safe, basically. No one in any position of power is safe. And I think one of the reasons they wanted to go for Eddie Maguire is they wanted to make that point. Because he's Australia's number one celebrity, basically. And uh, they wanted to make the point that, you know, nobody is safe now in, in any position of power if you're basically a white male uh, or, or, or a white female, for that matter. You know, if you're anything that doesn't fall within the kind of nexus of intersectional politics and identity politics, which happens to make you, um, you know, kind of favoured, which would be, a, I guess, most favoured would be something like a, a transgender, Aboriginal, um, homosexual, um, I don't know, something else as well. Um, Muslims, eh? <laughs> that would probably be the most favoured um, kind of thing at the moment. It's ridiculous, as we all know. So, you know, um, I, I think that it's a travesty what they did to uh, Eddie. Um, I, I think that he still has his job on, on Millionaire. I actually appeared on Millionaire. Um, had to be a millionaire um, with Eddie, actually. I don't know. It would have been about five years ago now. And I lost with a question about Who, uh, uh, about the band The Who. Um, I think it was uh, something about their Live in Leeds. Who made the, uh, um, the uh, live album Live in Leeds? And it was The Who. I, I'd heard of the album, but I couldn't exactly... I, was it was it the Who or was it Led Zeppelin? I couldn't remember, and so I think I got about three questions right, and I was doing quite well. But then, you know, Zap fucked up basically. I try and find the still from that to accompany this video, perhaps. But um, yeah, look, I think it's terrible what they've done to Eddie Maguire, and I think it's just indicative of this kind of world culture um, that we see um, just being used uh, as a kind of bullying weapon all over, um, you know, a Western civilization, and um, you know, further uh, pushing this, um, you know, very negative agenda of cultural Marxism and, um, you know, basically trying to destroy um, what was great uh, about our Western society. So I think we should reject it and uh, hopefully um, stand behind Eddie Maguire. I'd like to send out my personal support to Eddie and um, say uh, we're thinking about you and we think it's terrible what the, uh, um, you know, the powers that be have done because uh, Eddie Maguire did nothing wrong, basically. And that's all I wanted to say today on the report from Tiger Mountain. Thank you for listening.